So last night I was watching the World Series and I noticed that a lot of the guys were wearing longer haircuts um, underneath their hats. So it inspired me to create this video today to show you guys how I would cut a longer men's haircut. And also, uh, it made me think about how I've seen people cut longer men's hair in the past. A lot of people using a razor to kind of chop it up. A lot of people just creating square layers. A lot of people just don't know uh, different techniques for men's longer hair. So I figured this video would be great. It's also uh, a current thing that people are seeing. So I'm sure people will be requesting it in the salon. So making a salon friendly haircut that's current is what this channel is all about. So. Hope you guys like the video. We're gonna go through, I'm gonna do a ton of different techniques, disconnection, stroking technique. We're gonna create shape uh, while still giving a very textured men's cut. So hope you guys like the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already because you don't wanna miss any of the videos that we're coming out with all the time. And also if you have any questions, make sure you post those in the comments below. Uh, love seeing your questions, love answering them. So post those questions. Let's get started, here we go. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take out a horseshoe section around the head shape. Now, a lot of people talk about not wanting to use clips in men's hair, but I think if a guy has hair, you know, six inches or longer, it's just smart to use clips to stay organized because just because it's men's hair doesn't mean that it doesn't have structure. So I go through, I take out the horseshoe section, then I go straight down center back, and then I go right along the occipital bone. Basically what I'm doing is I'm breaking up um, each level of the head. So we're going to work in the bottom nape area first, then we're going to work our way up to the midpoint of the head, and then we'll work on the top of the head at the very end. So just staying organized and working through. So the first parting that I'm going to take is right down the center back, and it's going to be a vertical parting, and everything's going to come back to that as a traveling guide until we get to the very edge as the head shape starts to turn towards the ear. Then what I'm going to do is overdirect everything straight back. So we are creating square layering in the back uh, to start the haircut. Now, another key thing that you want to notice is that right at the occipital bone, I kind of elevate a little bit higher. And the reason for that is to collapse the shape. I want to create layers. I don't want to create graduation. A lot of people will end up creating graduation just because they their elevation is too low. They're not doing it on purpose. My goal is to make sure that I'm not creating a bob on the back of Bob's head. So, all right, so now I'm gonna work on the opposite side. This is my right-hand side. The biggest difference is I now shift my hand position. Uh, I've talked about this in many cuts in the past, but so if the, those of you that follow along probably know this already, but those of you that are new, uh, hit subscribe, but also um, check out my hand positioning. So my hand positioning goes from pointing up on the left-hand side to now pointing down. The reason for that is it's all about the combing. So as I take my parting down, I'm combing that new hair into my guide. I did the same thing on the opposite side. So you want to be consistent with combing. If I kept going the exact same way I was, I would have been combing the guide into the new hair and ended up with a shorter side on the haircut. So also notice um, that my over direction is straight back. Um, so I'm not going back to the center back. I'm just going straight back off the head. This is where I clean up that hair that's on the nape. Um, because I cut layering, you get a little bit of a mullety feel. I like to remove that a little bit, and I think that that's something that separates this haircut from a lot of uh, other longer men's cuts is that they would cut those layers and leave that length. So I go through and just remove that. Now we're going to go in with a stroking technique. This is an open and close of the scissor. It's a full open and close. So I go vertical down the center back, and then I open the scissor and I close it as I come down. It's almost like a point cutting technique. And the thing I like about this is it gives it that texturized feel, uh, very similar to point cutting, but um, it also is a great way to cut a structured line and also hold my hand in the same position uh, that I cut the bottom. So it gives me a couple different benefits. It keeps me consistent with how I'm cutting through it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. Now notice, I overdirect everything back in the uh, in the back portion of the head, I overdirect everything back. In the front, I overdirect everything forward. What that's doing is pushing weight off of the face. I don't want to push all the weight towards the face uh, from the back because that's going to defeat the purpose of how he's going to wear the hair. So he likes to tuck it behind his ear, kind of wear it off of his face. So you want to cut the front accordingly uh, as I go through. So now I'm going to do the same exact technique uh, on the back and then in the front as well uh, for the right-hand side of the head. 
So same thing, doing that stroking technique. Again, you open up as you come up, you close as you come down. Uh, it's definitely a technique that takes a lot of practice. Um, but once you have it, it's pretty simple and uh, it's a very effective technique for creating that texture. So now we move on to the top. It's our last section. So what I'm doing is taking horizontal sections across the top and over directing them over top of the mid crown. So that's going to give me that over direction. It's going to push the weight to the front of the head. Uh, the reason I like that weight in the front, but I still go through a point cut to keep the texture is that in the front, uh, the guy's going to be wearing it slicked back into the back. So I keep that weight in the front so it's nice and heavy and he can flip it back. Now I'm going to use Paul Mitchell's Steady Grip as my base product for the blow dry. Now, you don't have to fully blow dry your hair. And uh, guys that have longer hair like this, you need to realize you don't have to blow it dry and style it. But the reason I'm blowing it dry with the gel in there is that I get it about 80% dry. And then I put my finished product in it. Um, a lot of guys will throw product in their wet hair. And what happens is uh, men's products are water soluble. So they're going to dilute the product. The product's not going to work as well. And um, so you're not going to get the end result you're looking for. So now I go in with Barber's Classic. Now that I got the hair 80% dry, I style it with that. It doesn't get diluted and I get the full performance of the product in there. So these are a couple of Mitch products. Really like them. I use them in the salon all the time. Um, you get that shine, the hold, and there's the finished cut without a hat. And then I want to show you guys the same uh, feeling with the hat because this is what you see on the baseball field. So uh, it's got a really cool look either way, and it's got an even cooler look with an Eagles hat on because uh, you will never see me posting an L.A. Dodgers hat. So hope you guys liked the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, like always, if you liked the cut, then hit the like button below. Also, make sure you share this video with all of your hairdresser friends. Whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Also, real quick, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm sitting in the woods. Well, this is the back of the new salon and studio, so um, I promise I'm going to give you guys a tour soon. We're just not done yet. It's, it's, it's coming, it's almost there. We're working in there, but it's just not done yet. Not done enough to show everybody. So thank you for your patience.